Hello, and welcome to another Let's Play of Dragon Quest X. We're back. We're going in. We're heading towards Glen Castle right now. Without further ado, hope you're having a beautiful day, beautiful afternoon, depending on your time zone. Hope you're having a good day in general. Now, let's get started on this. So, the last thing we did was... Oh, you for Henny. I'm leaving this village too. I only came here to take to make a quick buck. Thanks to you, I've saved up a ton of cash. It'll be nice to head back to my hometown for a while. Well, I'm off, Sufu Henny. Good day, mate. If you meet again, give me a holler. Hmm. Is it safe for her to do that? All right. Okay, we're heading towards Lion Gate. So literally, it's a straight path down. So, without further ado, let's go. So yeah, I've been thinking, so crafting, what can I really craft? That's my question right now. Can I craft weapons? Or do I craft something? Like, I know I have to search these things up down the road. What the hell was that? Hmm. Anyway, I know I'm going to have to search that up and do my research when it comes to crafting. Hopefully it's not like a big thing that I need to do in this game. I guess maybe if I would have like top tier items, maybe crafting would be a big thing. Lion Gate. We that's where we have to head to, right? Like I'm sorry, I'm just making sure. Um, past the Lion's Gate to the south. Okay. Okay. Just gotta make sure we're going the right way. I don't want to go the wrong way. So as you probably saw, there's probably there's a character on there um, that um, I made, but that character I messed up because I skipped the whole intro prologue, and I was lo I'm talking about lost when I got in, so I just left him there and then made a new one. Try to convince my wife to if she wanted to try this. She looked at me. She says, "I don't know. I don't find it too interest. I don't find it too interesting, but." The hassle of they yet to go through to get it. I'm like, yeah, I know. <sighs> I'm still too strong. I guess they know danger when they see it. I don't want to fight anything right now because right now that uh that event, the metal slime event, or rookie medals are are, are out right now, so. And now I'll definitely be giving these things a pounding or two. Okay. I mean, I already killed once and it didn't level me up immediately, so. And I like the combat that it's like free roam com combat. Just freaking obliterated that poor little slime. Pretty weak. 
trust me, I know this whole area is no longer useful to me. I hope there isn't like a bestiary like type of thing where you know a monster that you kill gets written down so you can see what they are. I mean, I wouldn't mind walking back, so I'll backtrack to all that. All right, and we've arrived to Lion's Gate. Go ahead and cue the sound effect, Maestro. Ah, perfection. <laughs> God, I love that. Hmm. That's a new icon. Traitor. This function is restricted in the current play environment. This function will be available when the official play environment is available. Okay. I guess since I'm a free player, it won't let me. Zakuba. Might as well stock up on those files since I'm gonna be using my ability powers a little bit. What is happening? What do you got for me? All right, let's see how we're looking. Ooh, we're looking good. We is looking good. All right. Let's get out of here. Glenn, okay. Actually... There's a church here. Let me put my zoom stone here. Just in case. You never know. God forbid I have to go all the way back. Later, Nicorama. All right, let's get out of here. I'm trying to do as much, uh, much as much content as possible. Cue the sound. Love it. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Something so minute, and it just fills me with a little, little joy. Okay. We're going to Glen Castle. So it's literally going to be straight down to the right. Let's get it. Halt up for the enemies. Yep. <sighs> Walking on a lonely road. It's crazy because such simple, such a simple like graphics like this, like for me, it's like with the music and everything, it, I feel like I'm like 18 again. You know, just got home from school, 
sitting down to watch my big brother play. Oh, look at this guy. God damn. You know, people are not too social here. That dude looked crazy, though. Okay, I think we're getting close. Not even at the halfway point. I would get one of those little vehicle things, but I want to experience this as probably a lot of people did back then and, you know, walking everywhere. Pretty sure back then people didn't really get to level 16 so fast, but you know, I'm a, uh, it's a mistake that I, I will try not to not do again. Like I get it. I get why they did it so they can so like low level people can go grind with their higher level friends, but me being the solo guy that I am, I like a challenge. Maybe they thought people didn't want to do the grinding to do a boss fight. I mean that's the point of these type of games. But you know, that's just me. Oof, almost there. It's a good trek, but we're there. I do apologize for these videos being so short. I just don't want to like overdo it and make like hour long videos. Cause you know, I don't think anybody wants to sit there for an hour and watch somebody play. But um, if you guys want me to make long videos like they did with the Final Fantasy um, game, you know, feel free to leave a comment down there and let me know what you, what you guys think. I personally, I don't mind. My only issue is that I'm going to be reading every single text that comes in. So that might annoy some people. Which I do apologize for, but come on. We're playing an MMO and a Dragon Quest game on top of that. Like, come on. You've got to read it out. But I, do, I will do less with the voice acting for sure. Hmm? Race shop? Hey, this is the reception for the dole board race through. So sorry, race is open to adventurers who are fully qualified and have a dole board. Oh, like a racing, like a race race. Okay. My name is Ogben, a peddler. I'm Ogben, a peddler. My job is to transport goods from Glen Castle towns to various places with this wagon. I went to Zema Beacon via Langao Village, and if you like, I give you a ride there. If I go and take you home, if I can only take you home, I can't pick you up. If you don't mind, how far would you like to go? I'm I'm good. Thanks, little man. What a nice community. Cue it. So we reach Glen Castle. This is the first visit to this town. It may be advantageous to change your resurrection spot to here in case your party is defeated. Change your current resurrection spot to this town? Yes, please. Change resurrection spot to Glen Castle Town. Beautiful. Sufahani suddenly felt dizzy. Seems like I'm a little out of practice. All right, next I'll try a town with a harbor. What the? Youch. Oh, sorry. Guess I shouldn't be flying when my head's in the clouds. Huh? You all right? Oh yeah, I'm just in another plane of existence right now. Glad you're okay. I'm Sen Vitalia. I'm a fairy, as you can plainly see. 
but I'm also a seasoned adventurer. Huh? What's a fairy doing in a place like this? Don't you even know where you are? This is the boundary between dreams and reality. Naturally, it's quite strange for a conscious ogre to be here. Sometimes I use the space to think. What I'll do today, what should I have for lunch, that sort of thing. Hmm. Seems you're an adventurer as well. That's interesting. What's your name? I see. Mr. Sufu Henny, is it? Right then, Mr. Sufu Henny. The fairy queen guided us here together for a reason. Please help me fulfill my mission. I'm traveling the world to make everyone happy by inspiring adventurers and the locals to get to know each other. The connections between people are what make us happy. Having conversations, laughing together, helping one another, and forming bonds are the sources of everyone's happiness. In short, I want you to find and talk to the inhabitants of Astalatia and that I've chosen. And for that, you need to be prepared, right? Lady, I got bigger things to worry about. Shabam! I cast a spell of yellow meetings on you. Now you'll see the names of people I've chosen in yellow. Now, all you have to do is find people with yellow names and talk to them. How easy is that? Since you're helping me, I should give you something in return. Right then, how about this? I'll give you a mini medal every time you speak with someone I've chosen. Plus, I'll even throw in extra prizes based on the total number of people you've talked to. Doesn't that sound great? You're really an agreeable person, aren't you? I'm liking you more by the second. Oh yeah, I should give you this too. So Fanny received the yellow diary. Cute, yeah? And it even matches mine. What's more, these two books have an amazing feature that links what's written in them with each other. If I write the names of the people of Estalutia in here, they'll also be listed in the one I gave you. I'll fill in the names of the people I've met I've chosen, so you can check them out anytime from your key items. I'll be at the dock in the port town of Lindor for the time being. So come see me if you feel like it. Be seeing ya. Okay. Later, Queen Fairy. Saventali has cast a spell on you that makes certain people's names yellow. Try to find them and talk to them. One right there in front of me. From nowhere, a mysterious voice crackled. Hey, hey, you didn't forget me, right? It's me, Saventalia. Oh, thank you. I see you found one of my chosen residents. Here, this is for you. Yay. All right, I'll give you a prize to commemorate your first achievement. Let's use it and go for it next time. Make sure you listen carefully to what they have to say. If you're not sure where to go, you can use your yellow diary or come see me. I'm always happy to help. Welcome to Glen Castleton. I know it must be must have been hard to get here. I have one good thing to tell you. People who have something to tell you have pink in their names, just like Mr. Gord in the front of the stairs. I recommend you talk to Mr. Gord right away. Okay. This country is preparing for war with Gart Gartland, another ogre nation, so we're gathering heroes with the mark of maturity. If you have a mark of maturity, then I want you to become a soldier of this country and fight with us. If you wish to volunteer to become a soldier, you have to go see King Bagudo at Castle Glen. The castle entrance is at the top of these stairs. Hmm. So war. War never changes, huh? But first, oh, I'd like to walk around for a bit. So our zoom stone is already attached to here, so so we have two zoom stones? Yeah, we have two. Huh.
Okay. I got no million. I. It's a smithy facility. If you're a weapon smith, armor smith, or tool smith, you can craft items here. I am none of those things. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. This is the this is a station, so we're not gonna we're not gonna go through here. We're gonna go back up, go to the stairs, go up the stairs, talk to the king. I don't think uh, we should venture to out there yet. <laughs> it's only to fight for the country, so let's see what this means. You've unlocked PvP. Can you imagine? Hopefully there's more, um, there's better equipment here besides what I'm wearing. Let's see. Ladies, please somebody got something for me. Cast iron, broader sword. looking mm, we're looking all right let's see okay so And so it begins that I start to meddle with the whole glamour system. I mean, I'm not shocked, but you know, sooner or later it was bound to happen. So it better to happen now than later. So, but I expect to see a lot of glamouring <laughs> in this let's play. Not just yeah. All right. Look at me, I'm already glamouring it up. Spent 10 minutes on that. <laughs> oh god, I'll probably do the glamours like off camera. Sword is looking great. Alright, this guess at the top of the stairs. So, looking for the king. Don't tell me there's more stuff in here to buy.
level 21 stuff. Now we're talking. For level 21. I'll buy it. Okay, hopefully... I need to talk to this guy. Ooh, thank you. I see you found one of the, my chosen residents. Here, this is for you. Make sure you listen carefully to what they have to say. Welcome to the Weaponsmith Guild. My name is Rosito, and I am the Guild Master of the Weaponsmith Guild. Your name is Sufei? It's a very pretty name. I think you make a good weaponsmith. Weaponsmithing is the art of making swords, spears, axes, and other cool metal weapons with your own hands. It's nice to be able to make weapons. It's a little extravagant, to say the least. Wouldn't you like to be a brilliant weaponsmith? Not now. Although, you know, we've discovered that. To be fair, I thought this was like... The King's Palace type of deal? The servant's room, maybe? We'll try there. Oh yeah, King's right here. Nidolf. Beyond this is the throne room of King Bagudo, who will only see those who wish to become our soldiers. Sure. This is about maturity, shall we? Hmm, you certainly seem to have very well. You may enter the throne room. King Bagudo will decide whether or not to hire you as a soldier of Glen. King Bagudo will decide if he wants to hire me as one of Glen's soldiers. The king is expecting a guest right now, so wait inside quietly. Damn. Yikes. King Bagudo, what's going on? Sage Eidos is here to see you. Hmm. Sage Eidos? I won't be deceived, you reek of evil. K King Bagudo, don't tell me you don't recognize Sage Eidos. Silence. Who do you think you're talking to? What? Throw the old man in jail. Don't you ever show your face to me again. Ho oh, ho, I see. King Bagudo, this is a grave situation. So is this is a sort of problem this country is facing. Damn, I don't want to meet him. Allow me to speak, King Bagudo. This traveler has volunteered to work as a soldier for Castle Glen. Oh? So someone with a mark of maturity has finally shown up? I see, they certainly seem to have some skill. However, do you think you can deceive me? You who seek to bring misfortune to my country? Th that's King Baguda for you to think that you can see their true nature at a glance. They're just like the old man. Lock them in a cell and throw away the key. Yeah. Urgh. It feels like my head is splitting apart, that rotten Gartland. Whatever, just throw them in prison, get them out of here. Yes, sir. Come on. Am I really going to jail? What? Yeah. And this is what I get first going off on a side quest. My name is Zenboa. Actually, the other day I had an, in an innocent person like you locked up on the king's orders and they were released almost instantly. So I'm sure you'll be able to get out as soon as get out soon too. At least that's what I think. Dude.
All right. Hmm. As I said earlier, you've been brought back to life, haven't you? Oh. I've traveled the world. I know the whole story. It seems you people of Athene suffered quite a bit of bitter fate at the Netherlord's hands. This situation is completely inexcusable. Please forgive me, Sage Eidos. Raise your head, Captain Jidan. It's no wonder that the current king behaves towards me as he does. Sage Eidos! So you know it too. That man isn't the King Baguda we know. The truth is the king was ill until the other day. He survived, but ever since then, he's been suffering from terrible headaches. He's always on edge, and he seems to hate everything. He never said anything about waging war on Gartland before. No matter what the reason, what's wrong with the king? Will he return to the kind and gentle king he used to be once that headache is gone? I've known King Baguto since he was a baby. I'm not just going to abandon him. But as you know, I'm very busy. I don't know how long I'll be able to stay in this country. Well, it's not that there isn't a way to get rid of the king's headache, but... Then Sage Eidos, please show me what to do. I'll do anything to help the king. Captain Jidan, if you wish for me to teach someone, this person may be better fit for the job. Sup? <laughs> Your name is Sufu Henny, is it not? Sufu Henny, it would take great courage and determination to restore the king to his former self. If you are ready to save this country, come see me at the inn. I'll be waiting. The freaking music! <laughs> oh my god! If the king continues as he is, there will be a terrible war on the old graded continent. If that happens, many of our people will suffer. Sufahini, Sufahini, please. I need your help to restore King Baguto to his former glory. Thank you. Sage Eidos was wise to choose you. Now, I will escort you to that castle exit. Please go see Sage Eidos, who is staying at the inn. And that is where we're going to end the episode when we get to the inn. Captain Jinan told me about you. He told me that you would borrow wisdom from Eidos and do your best to heal the king. The inn where Eidos is located is just down the stairs in front of the castle on the right. I'm counting on you. Which right? Your right or my right? Like, which one? I'll figure it out. I think I know exactly where it is. I don't know why I'm acting brand new to this. So what we're doing here is like a side quest, basically. Right? Sorry if I'm being if I sound ignorant by saying that, but I'm like genuinely excited about this. Eidos? Gotta be somewhere around here. Here we go. You're here, Sifu Hedy. Time is of the essence. I will be frank. The reason King Baguda's acting strangely is because he's affected by the demon Miasma. He took such an intense dislike to you and I because he sensed a divine power in us. You know of the demon Miasma, don't you? That abominable dark mist? It's said that a monster that wreathes itself in it grows much stronger, but a person who touches it either dies or has their mind stained with evil. The 
once forgotten demon miasma is now active again because Netherlord Nerdzo has descended upon the world. Sufrihini, are you prepared to save this country? To rid King Baguda of the miasma that haunts him. All you need is... No. It's nothing. What you need is Lemur's Chalice. It still lies in the depths of Beacon Va of Beacon Valley and the northwestern part of Glen Territory. It's not an easy thing to come by, so you must be prepared. I'll meet you back here once you have it. Want to give me an ETA on that? All right. So we have a heading. We're going to head to the Beacon Valley in the northwestern part of Glen Territory. All right. Well, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call it right here. I want to thank you for watching to the end of the video. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed what you've seen. I am excited for this. This is becoming super fun for me. I'm enjoying every second of it. But anyways, guys, please be safe. Keep your loved ones safe. Keep yourselves safe. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.